How smart is AI? How smart will it become? Do we have to worry about it? What if it replacing our jobs? What if an evil genius uses it to attack the world? The projections of what AI will be able to do are limitless. If we can think of it, then AI is projected to be able to do it. There are several reasons that such projections are made. One is Moore's Law, which is that since 1959, the capacity for transistors has nearly doubled every year. That doubling has since resulted in a capacity gain of several quintillion times greater than in 1959. A transistor is a fundamental component in all electronics. 6G, the future platform for cellular phone systems, will start being tested in 2025. It is estimated that the transmission speeds of 6G will be something like 1 billion times faster than the speeds that existed 30 years ago. I am hearing some say the rate of AI has been growing something like 10 times yearly as of late. I think that is generous math, but it has been growing much faster than doubling. When something grows between 2 and 10 times a year, it quickly reaches a point in which we cannot predict where it is going. That is the reason for the absurd optimism from many in tech. Among the terms that are commonly used by those projecting AI are the Turing test, AGI, superintelligent AI, and singularity. The Turing test was proposed by Alan Turing, one of the founding fathers of AI. In 1951, he proposed the Turing test as a measurement when AI can communicate in a way that is indistinguishable from humans. Some feel we have reached this. AGI is artificial general intelligence, or the point in which AI is able to generally do what the human brain can. Superintelligent AI is the point at which AI has surpassed human intelligence and operates on its own. Singularity is when AI becomes uncontrollable or irreversible from humans. Some have included AI being more intelligent than all humans combined. These are vague terms, and the reality of it is that each of them is a guess and may not be possible, though most experts are certain we will reach these levels. These terms are used to hypothesize what will happen as these points become near or when they happen. Some are predicting it will happen quickly. It seems to me that very few if any experts predicted AI would grow as fast as it is currently growing. Also, each of these terms can mean different things as we can't say exactly how these different states will look. More and more technology experts or futurists are speaking as to where all this is heading. We often now hear from the corporate pillars in technology, such as Elon Musk, Bill Gates, Sam Alton, CEO of the company who created ChatGPT, and many others. Perhaps none is quoted more than futurist, best-selling author, and computer scientist Ray Kurzweil. In 2005, Ray wrote The Singularity is Near, which he predicted singularity would be reached by 2045. In addition to the above definition, he identifies it as the point in which human and machine intelligence merge. Several years ago, polls among AI researchers suggested that half of them believed AI would have human-like intelligence by 2040 to 2045. Since then, AI has performed much better than expected. I would assume the estimates of reaching singularity have moved up. When singularity is reached, Kurzweil claims its intelligence 
will be a billion fold greater than all of intelligence combined right now. In the next several months, June of 2024, his newest book, The Singularity is Near, When We Merge with Computers, will be released. He also believes in his lifetime that he will be able to download his consciousness to a computer and live forever in that way. He is 76 now, having been born in 1948. I have heard him speak about the ability of our brain with AI. The thought is that in the 2030s, AI will reverse engineer our brain and figure out how it can be far better constructed, particularly the neural pathways, which are the brain's main communication system. The brain, then, will be upgraded by the use of nanobots, which are nanotechnology computers or microscopic computers that will be able to rewire our brain. The belief is that this will be combined with an enormous number of nanobots, maybe even millions, placed in our brain to operate along with the brain for enhancement. These nanobots will communicate with the brain and with other systems for computation, problem solving, memories, and any other task of cognition. Many companies are working on this right now including one founded by Elon Musk. Also, there's Microsoft, Apple, Facebook, Google, governments and universities around the world. Ray Kurzweil believes the human mind, then, will be at magnitude of millions of times smarter sometime in the next decade, and billions of times smarter not too long after that. It is thought AI will eliminate mental illness along with all physical illnesses by the end of the 2030s. I cannot speak to what Ray meant by our brains being one billion times more intelligent. This certainly meant rewiring our brains with what is there already in the most efficient ways. That is our natural neuroplasticity. We will understand what makes the most accomplished and brightest of us as we are. We then can wire our brains in a similar way or a way we wish to be and certainly would utilize whatever is unique about us individually. We would be connected to the internet and maybe each other. Our communication then would be perfect. There would be no more misunderstandings as that is an inability and fairly primitive comparatively. The thing that hasn't been discussed, or at least I haven't heard of it, are devices to make our brain more efficient in collaboration with what I've mentioned above. Whatever slows our brain, whatever does not allow for the most profound of thoughts could be enhanced by devices that assure this. Everything would work together. It is possible that at a point, all of humanity and all of AI will live as one brain. For those who wish not to be part of that, then that is their option. I realize a world far beyond what any of us can imagine is scary. Not what many are in favor of. And to many, the thought of physically and mentally merging with technology is not a world in which they wish to be a part. For me, I have a different perspective. The old model I don't believe worked. I believe there is a great need for a new model. This will be an ongoing series as I take a deeper look at AI. Please like, subscribe, and let others know if you enjoyed this. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day, and I hope to see you soon.